strikes Burris an Arca oh, they're a, uh, a senior from Edwardsville Illinois six feet 170 pounds infield plays back on the right side he'll take a fastball inside corner strike three called three pitches same location around 89 to 91 miles an hour and a good beginning for Garrett Gaines pitchers count they were having to yep. uh, try to hit the pitchers pitch and they Hit a lot of ground balls, a lot of weak fly balls. 2-2 two -two right at the knees, 90 miles an hour. Gaines has fanned the first two, catching both Burris and Greer looking in the first inning. Out here in the second inning, the key for Arkansas State to try to get somebody around and score, see if they can just kind of take the lid off that scoreboard. Kaysen Campbell hits a double play grounder, wants to come for one on the first two for the price of one. And just like that, a glimmer of offensive opportunity goes by the boards, Jerry. Yeah, that really hurts, and they've hit into a lot of those issues. One for two yesterday, scored a couple of runs. And he'll lace this one into the right field corner. This could be trouble for Greer. Cobb digs for second base. Strong throw is off the bag. And there's a leadoff double brought to you by Troy Bank and Trust, the only bank you'll ever need very good college world series high fly ball right side got under it going out as the second baseman caskey in comes greer greer will make the catch near the line tagging is cop and he'll take third now they'll throw to second base and safe at second is kyle mock that's what? aggressive for a lead here for troy in the second and he hits this one deep to center field. On the run is Burris. He will look up. Gone. What a shot by Blake Sutton. Barry, that thing, if, if you're familiar with Riddle pace to the left of the scoreboard. The wall goes straight and then it angles down. Arkansas State scored their only run so far of the series an inning ago. Swing and a miss. And he goes down on strikes. Fooled him with a couple of all speed mm -hmm. pitches there. Gets a couple of weak swings and misses. And there's one down. Yeah, the strikeout pitch was especially effective because it was a change up. Swing and a miss. That's a foul tip into the glove, and he got all three strikes with off-speed stuff, and he strikes out the first two here in the Red well, Wolves half of the fourth. Uh, nowadays, I'm just working on my balance and stuff because I'm, I'm at the weight I want to be at. I'm happy where I'm at. I just yeah. want to make sure I work on my flexibility and just being able to move. As you're talking, Colton, yep. uh, Brooks Bryan gets a drive off the center field wall. He will make the turn, stand up at second with an RBI triple and Troy has tied it up here. Brooks Bryan with his 47th RBI of the year gets a triple off the center field wall, scampering around as Will Butcher. Get a look at it there. Yeah. They just missed getting out of here. Burris didn't get the moment. Cobb digs in with a one-two count. Goes down the line, right side, past the first base bag into the corner. And that's to your point, Barry. They pitch to him and he makes them pay. Two strikes, one and two count. He just inside outs the swing, goes inside the first base bag. Brooks Bryan scores, Troy's retaking the lead, 5-4. Candle's gonna be lit and he's gonna get going because he just has not been as productive as uh, we know he can be. 0-2. No Liner down the left side, that will drop a base hit in front of Williams. Bellow goes the opposite way. He's a worker, Jerry. He just works so hard and well, is is takes pride in his craft and that's just a really good job of hitting on not a bad 0-2 pitch the club lead in homers with nine second in the league in rbis with 46 rips this one to left field that will fall for a base hit wide turn by bellow and he'll retreat back to second base Draper's got to be careful pitch High fly ball, right field, back will go Greer, wall, it's off the wall! Rounding third is Bellow, rounding third is Butcher, the throw home late, Brooks Bryan does it again! Game changer! Just a towering fly ball off the bat, thought it was going to be caught, but you could tell then it had some carry, and 
It drifts all the way and off the wall. Mock leads from first, just one out. Infield pinched at the corners. Gilroy hits it deep to right field. Greer will look up. Grand slam, home run. Aiden Gilroy has broken this one wide open. We knew off the bat that that had a chance. It's a high wall over there, but it didn't scrape over. It got over big time, and the decision to stay with Draper does not work out here for head coach Tommy Raffo. Tucker, a uh, Turner rather, throws and he hits it in the air. Left field, is it enough? Looking back is Williams. He's at the wall and it's gone. <laughs> Double digit home runs now for the meat man. Butcher has 10. Troy's lead is seven. I said I did everything I could <laughs> to try to keep it off of you. One, two pitch. Liner right at Gilroy. And the Trojans win it. Arkansas State down one, two, three in the bottom of the ninth. Hartzell gets the win, Draper gets the loss, and the Trojans win the series. Good ball game uh, through uh, up until the sixth inning, and Troy breaks it open in the, uh, actually in the seventh inning uh, with that six run seventh. Uh, Troy just kept coming at uh, this Arkansas State team, and uh, Arkansas State made a couple of mistakes that Troy just didn't let him get away with. Uh, Troy continues to pound the baseball and they win the series by taking this one with double digit runs again. Finale tomorrow at one o'clock, but today your final score, Troy 12, Arkansas State 5.